All right, thanks a lot, Jamie. Fort Stewart once again redefining what's possible today, getting some heavy armored vehicles to float. Well, sort of. Yeah, WTOC was there as they practiced a technique no other base on the East Coast has done before called wet gap crossing. Our Sam Bowen explains what it is and shows us how they did it. Members of the 3rd Infantry Division at Fort Stewart got their day started off by making quite a splash. The main focus out here, we're out here to be more proficient, to test our capabilities. The task at hand? So today the engineers are going to put together a raft, uh, and the purpose of that is to float armor across. Heavy armor. The, the Bradley is 44 tons, the Abrams is 72 tons, so it's, a, it's heavy pieces of equipment that we're moving out here. They do it using a technique called wet gap crossing, basically building a floating mobile bridge, something they're getting pretty good at. Our fastest build was 14 minutes, so we actually built this bridge in 14 minutes. And even that number is one they'd like to bring down so they can be able to respond as fast as possible in a time of crisis. Uh, you know, the engineers may be called upon to lay this bridge to either uh, gain access to isolated uh, places that may need resupply if it was, you know, a natural disaster or in wartime like we've, you know, we've been talking about if um, we need to cross uh, armor assets across a body of water, this is how we're going to do it. While it's clearly a skill worth practicing, on this day, it was even a bit more special as they had the chance to show the public, including some students, there's no obstacle, whether at war or in life, that can't be overcome when you work together. I love uh, any opportunity to teach, so to get these uh, young Americans out here to show them the capabilities that we have and how cool it is and the men and women that can make it happen, I, it makes me proud to be a soldier. Sam Bauman, WTOC News.